Hi everybody, we got a, another video for you today. We want to show you how to remove and replace or reinstall the speed control receiver unit in the car. Uh, I've had a lot of new people to RC buying the cars and if you haven't had a lot of experience with the RC cars when you get to the electronics it can be a little bit intimidating. So we wanted to do a video to show you how to do this. So you can either use the L Allen wrench and the nut driver. You're going to need both of these that come with the car. Uh, for this video, we're going to go ahead and use our aftermarket tools um, that we have. We got the 1.5 millimeter driver, the 4 millimeter driver, and the 3 millimeter driver. So what you're going to want to do first is take the hood off. So you're going to take the screw loose on the front of the hood and set that aside, pull the hood off. Next thing you're going to want to do is go ahead and disconnect the wires from the speed control. So this is the servo wire here. And before you take that out of there, just note how the wires are. They're white, red, black. The white's on the right side of the car. And there's a little symbol on the, the label of the speed control here that says uh, it's an S, a plus, and a negative. The S is the signal, and that is the white wire. So when you put that back in, just make sure it goes in the same way. So just pull up on that. It's just a friction fit. Uh, same thing on the motor wire. It's the three black wires on the plug. When you lift up on it, just kind of lift up and rock back and forth at the same time, and it'll pop right out of there. You can just kind of push those back out of the way. Next thing you want to do, we're going to have to take this side panel loose here to get to a couple screws in the frame here. So we're going to go ahead and take the Nerf bar off, and then we're going to go ahead and take the servo saver screw out. And then you're going to take this front screw that holds the side panel out. So take this screw loose here. And then what you're going to want to do while you have the drive, the 1.5 millimeter driver, just put it underneath this radius rod here and just lift up and it'll pop that off there. Just kind of pull that out of the way. Then we're going to use our 3 millimeter driver and we're going to take this ball stud out. And the reason you got to take this, take this uh, side panel loose up here is there's two screws in the frame here. And where this wire comes through for the battery, it snakes through the frame right here, and it's really tight. So it's tighter than the plug will allow. And that's to kind of keep it from going back through there. So you got to loosen up a couple screws there, and then that wire will come out of there easy. So take this drag link and just kind of pull it out of the way. And then you can just lift up on this side panel right here, just with your thumb or something. Um, and you don't have to go very far, because um, what you want to do is it's these two screws down in here that you're going to get to. And these are screws that hold the frame to the battery box. So just take these, and you just need to loosen them up, maybe three or four turns. You don't need to take them all the way out. So just loosen those up, and then that'll be loose enough to get that plug through. So what you can do is you can take this plug, and you can kind of get it going that direction. Just make sure it's kind of going there, and then when you take the speed control loose, it'll come out of there. So to take the speed control out of the car, there's two screws, one right here and one right here that you need to take loose. So you're going to take those out and just set those aside and the speed control receiver unit is mounted on two posts in here and that kind of keys it to the car and then these screws hold it down so when you take this when you get those loose you're just going to want to lift up on the speed control and it'll come out of there pretty easy it'll come loose and then it's kind of free from the car so the other thing you're going to have to pop loose is the switch the switch is in like a some grooves some tongue and grooves here on the front of the battery box it's pretty easy to get that out. Just tip the car over and you'll see the switch there. Just from the top side, just push down on the switch. And you might have to push with a little bit of force, but it'll just fall right out of there. Once you get it going, it'll just pop right out. So then you can get this, get the switch up here. And then when you get this wire going through here, this plug, you'll have to get it laying flat. And you can kind of force it through there and just pull on the speed control at the same time. And it'll wiggle that wire right out of there. So it just comes right out of there. And that's why we loosened up that spot in the frame right there is to get that plugged by that area. So when you go to put this back in, some people do just put the wire down on the side of the battery box. They don't go back through that group, that little channel. Uh, but we do recommend putting it in that channel and leaving it in there. It just makes it, uh, just makes it a lot freer, a lot cleaner, and everything the battery wire fits in the car better. So when you get, the, get another speed control or you're going to put the speed control back in, it uh, doesn't really matter if it goes like this or like this, but you'll just kind of feed this red plug down between those two screws, and you have to kind of fiddle with it a little bit. Um, 
you know, to get to get that to go down in there, um, you can utilize, you know, your uh, just pull your pull the frame away from the battery box if you need to, and you'll get that to go right down in there. And you just have to get it once you get it going or just kind of push on it, it'll go right through there. So then go back from the bottom side, and as this pushes through there, you can grab that plug. Let's see if we can get it here. You can also use your driver in there just to kind of, you know, pick up on it if you need to. And then just pull through just till the wire comes out a little bit. And that's all you need it to do. So then the next thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to push the switch down through the bottom of the car, through this between the, the front tie rod and the battery box. Just get it underneath there. And then just line up this, line up those tabs on the side of the switch with the grooves in the, in the uh, battery box. So just get that lined up. Once it's lined up there, you can just push on both sides of this. Just push straight down. And you'll push down quite a bit on it. It goes quite a ways. What You'll know when it's all the way in because the switch right here, this the, the knob of the switch or the little tab of the switch, is almost flush with the bottom of the battery box. So if it's still sticking up like this, make sure you get that all the way down. Otherwise, the switch will drag on the track and it could shut the car off. So once you get that in, make sure the wire is still through. Then you're going to want to line up these two holes in the bottom of the speed control with these posts on the, on the battery box. And make sure those wires are out of the way. Just pull that back there and you'll get, you'll have to mess around with it a little bit. Just get it to fit in and you'll feel it just fall down on there and it, it keys in. And you can see that it's keyed in now. You know, it's on there pretty good. So then you want to take the screws that you took out of it and you'll want to put those back, both of those back in. And when you tighten these down, when you get pretty close, just kind of go slow. Once they snug up, that's all you need. You don't need to over tighten those. If you do over tighten them, you'll strip them out. So there's no need to over tighten them. Put the other screw in. And then your speed control is back in. So the next thing you want to do is uh, before you put the radius rod and all this stuff back on, make sure you lift this side of the frame of the body panel up. Those two screws that we loosened up in here. Just tighten those two back up. And there again, you don't need to over tighten them. Just once they get tight, that's good enough. And then just drop the side panel back on. Go ahead and put your ball stud back in. And then you're gonna put this screw back in the front of the, of the panel that we took out here. And there again, you don't need to over tighten all these screws. I mean, it's pretty soft plastic. So once they, once you feel it kind of get tight, just stop right there. It doesn't need to be over tightened. So then you're going to want to line up the uh, drag link and the servo saver arm here. And put your screw with the spring and the washer back in there. And just line that up. And same deal with this. When you get, when you t start tightening this down, once it starts to feel snug, just, just don't over tighten this because you can strip out this servo arm very easy or the servo post very easy. So once it gets tight, just stop right there. That's all it needs. Go ahead and hook your left front radius rod back up. You can put your Nerf bar back on. Line all that up. And then you're going to plug the wires back in. That's the next step. So one thing, we're going to plug the motor wire in first. So the motor plug has like a little notch or a little tab on it. And that lines up with the tab or the slot in the plug. So you just get that lined up and just push straight down. And then you're going to plug the servo wire in. So the servo plug or the servo wire goes in the first set of prongs here. You can see that it says motor servo bind on here. So you're going to want to put that in and make sure that the white wire is towards the right side of the car. And like I said, it's got the little label right here. Get that white wire over there. Just push all the way down until it stops and you're good to go. So if you just replaced the speed controller, if you, or if you just took it out and you were working on something else in the car and you're putting the same one back in, you don't have to bind anything. Everything will work as, it, as when you turned it off the last time. But if you do put a new speed control in, you're going to have to bind the receiver to the radio. So we'll do the, show you how to do that real quick in this same video. So just make sure you have a battery that's charged. Plug that in. Install it in the car. And then you're going to get the bind plug that came with the car. That's this little plug with the wire. And you're going to plug that in this second set of three prongs here. And there again, it's got the label on there for bind. This is universal. It doesn't matter which way it goes. It's just a jumper wire. So you're going to plug that in. Just push it all the way down. Then you're going to want to get your radio. Make sure that you turn the radio on. 
make sure the button's on and then find the switch and when you turn it on you're going to see this blue light over here start to flash when that starts to flash you're going to pull this bind plug out so i'm going to wait for it to flash there it's flashing pull that out and once that stop or once that stops blinking everything is bound and if you if you don't get that blue light just shut everything off turn the radio on put the bind plug in turn the car on do the process again uh, and then just make sure everything works make sure you got full throttle on the speed control um, the lights will be off in the neutral position when you rotate this knob on the radio this is the throttle trim knob you'll want to if the car you turn the car on and the, the rear wheels are rolling you'll rotate this counterclockwise till they stop rolling and then just go backwards a little bit till the lights go off so we'll kind of show you that if you turn the car on and it's doing this if it's rolling just a little bit and that that uh, light that red lights on just roll it back till the red light goes off and you're set when you pull the trigger when you start to pull the trigger the red light's gonna come on, and as you go up, when you hit full throttle, the green light's gonna come on. That's full throttle, so you're gonna wanna make sure you're you're hitting that full throttle. And then uh, turn the car off, turn the transmitter off, go ahead and put the hood back on, and you're ready to go. Uh, so that's everything you need to know how to replace uh, or reinstall the speed control receiver unit in the car. Uh, if you have any questions or problems as you're doing that, uh, just hit us up on our support uh, email on our website, or you can hit us up on Facebook Messenger, on Twitter, Instagram, any of those. Uh, make sure you keep watching our website and social media pages for more new products and new videos to come. Thanks for watching.